But someday I remember the, this um, situation when I was sitting in the desk and the, the friend who is sitting next to me just uh, find out uh, some news that today uh, Microsoft issued a new version of the Microsoft Dynamics Division 2010 and he said that yes, I'll be happy for the next three months and then it will be once again the routine. Yeah? So I just think about it and said, hmm, maybe I shouldn't be a, any consultant or developer or something. And I said, yes, that's true, yeah. I, I will not as good as you probably are in the developing stuff. So I like it because uh, you get the business uh, in many fields. Yeah, if you are implementing uh, ERP systems, you know everything about the company, yeah. So this is the thing I like. So I decided, okay, I want to still do this, but I don't want to f sit in the coding stuff and implementing the things, yeah. This is the thing that you should do. <laughs> <coughs> So uh, I just think that okay, I had to change something, and uh, after some times, I joined to the Eurocash, uh, this big corporation in Poland. Uh, they have many business branches and uh, mainly in the in the grocery stores. Yeah, and this is important for me because in all these companies, I learn something new. Uh, I uh, knew about. Uh, I just get some some uh, knowledge about di different business uh, uh, functions. Yeah, like marketing, like sales like logistics and I do different industries and I think this is very important yeah, to know different industries because then you can just find some, some gaps or niches in the market and you can just combine those things, uh, those knowledge, those dots that you just get in the experience and you will just find out some the idea. Yeah? So this is in short uh, this, this thing that happens to me. Yeah? Uh, so, oh, this just moved too far. Okay, just <laughs> okay. So this is the robot. Uh, so after this, you know, working this compression, I decided I have to change something, and I just uh, start the trip. Yeah, just take my backpack yeah, and travel to uh, border of the Arabia Saudi uh, Arabia, and I just uh, travel the fish hiking through Turkey, through Europe, and so on. It was very cheap uh, trip and. I just uh, get the time for myself to decide what to do. Yeah, this is famous, famous things that people in the states doing a gap year or something and travel. Yeah, so travel is good stuff. Yeah, so this is the trip actually to Jordan. And anybody who was in Jordan, have you been to Jordan? Okay, so this is the the road that is uh, leading to the uh, Petra. You heard about the Petra? It's one of the beautiful things to see in the world. Yeah, in your life. Like, so just go there. So this is the road I choose. I just go there. And sometimes when you are going somewhere, you don't know which way to choose, yeah? And I have two, two signs in here. Maybe it's not visible too, too much, but if you don't know uh, where you are going, you will probably end up somewhere else, yeah? It's very true. But in the other, uh, other um, side, I just find another saying that if you don't know where you're going, any road will get you there, yeah? <laughs> if you only walk long enough, yeah? So this is actually, those two, two sentences are true because uh, First of all, you have to have the goal, yeah? What you want to do, even your lifetime, your business, whatever, yeah? And in the other way, it's difficult, yeah? Because everything is changing all the time, so if you have given some strategy, yeah? strategy for life or for the business, it will change, you have to adapt and so on and so on, yeah? So, uh, you just go to this canyon, it's a really nice canyon, going to the, to the one thing you should do, it's called treasure, or treasury. And you just don't know where to go because you have one road on the left, one on the right. Yeah, it's, it's something that you have to, that to study. Yeah, you have so many possibilities and what to do. Yeah, so we just choose to go after this arrow back, and we just go further. And finally, we saw some girl that this is the park by there still. So we just find some way, and it's really nice and uh, beautiful road to this treasury. And uh, so on my way, this is the sentences are very light. Uh, this is like on you know, carpe diem, you know the sentence, yeah? Just enjoy your life and focus on the today, not tomorrow, or what is yesterday. So this is the thing I do. And uh, because everything flows, yeah? Pantare, yeah? Life is going on, life is short, you have to just enjoy it and be happy and stuff like this. And in the end, you will die someday, yeah? Memento mori. So this is the thing that uh, helps me sometimes to uh, overcome some uh, difficulties, yeah? Because if you set up a business, it's not easy, yeah? Because you, are, you have different role to, uh, to carry with you, yeah? You are right now the business owner, you have to <coughs> manage some people, you get to have fun, you know, financing stuff, you have to deal with the investors, and, and so many things that you don't know how to do and you have to do it, yeah? So you will just remember the, that someday you will die, <laughs> everything just flow away. 
<laughs> and you can do everything, yeah? So we just go for her. And on my way, I just met some nice, really nice people on my way. So I uh, learned a lot of them, uh, from them. Uh, and I remember this day I met uh, one guy from Hungary who was a hero. Yeah, he was 35 years old. And his dream was to go to the California and heal people, you know, like he was in Chinese and get some experience how to do like acupuncture and stuff like that. He was doing some nice massages and so on. And was his idea of life was to be a healer and a lot, uh, earn a lot of money healing some really superstars from California, from Hollywood or something like this, yeah. And probably he, he actually succeeded. So on this way I met many interesting people and this is like in life, yeah. The, the people you met is the best thing that you can uh, have in life. It's not about the money. Yeah? The same like in business. Yeah? It's not about doing the business for the money. Yeah? The, the best thing is that you just focus on the people because it's the best part. Yeah? You have motivation for, for doing the business. And actually the business that we set up is actually we are doing nice service. Not because it's a really nice service, because, but because we want to uh, implement new service for the people. Yeah? So that people will be happy and they will use the service. Yeah? And that, that will earn some money is just the thing that is going somewhere next to us. Yeah? So, I will tell you about uh, the business idea later, but remember that people are important, yeah? So, there was some movie that I wanted to share, <laughs> if you do. <laughs> but in general, uh, one sentence is also really, really nice, that the race is long and in the end it's only with yourself, yeah? So it's like the business, yeah? So, you have to right now, you probably read, most of you have some job right now, yeah? Working in some developing uh, industry, IT industry. Uh, you probably have nice uh, occupation here, you and so good money probably too, and uh, maybe some of you have just good ideas, yeah. But it's difficult to risk something like that. You have the loan to pay the the, uh, the loan from the bank to pay for the flat, yeah. You have family, children to have to care to take care of and, and stuff like this. But uh, the thing is that you have to develop yourself, yeah. If you don't push yourself to the border, you will not achieve anything, yeah. So the thing is that if you have this idea and that, that's that thought that maybe I should set up the business, do it, yeah? Because life is short and I think it's worth risking, yeah? You never know where the, the path will end. Yeah, so in the end of this path, you just go further and we saw some light, yeah? So there is a hope that we will achieve success someday, yeah? So we just make some few steps later and further and we see this treasure. I'm not sure whether you see a lot, but this is famous pictures which were taken with these candles below and this treasure in the background, yeah? So this is the treasury. Anybody recognize it from some books or somewhere, yeah? Yes. This is really nice stuff, worth visiting. And this is me there, yeah? So this is the proof I was there. <laughs> okay, so the question is actually, did you enjoy your story, yeah? The story is your life, your occupation right now, and so on. So if you don't enjoy your story, you have to change something, yeah? It's easy to say, but I know it's difficult to make this first step, right? I can just mm, encourage you to do the first step, yeah, someday, maybe not today, but you have to prepare yourself to this fault, yeah, right now I just a uh, just small thing, maybe to, someday I will start, yeah, so, okay, just write me an email if you start <laughs> And uh, this is me, actually, I call myself Korporudek, you know, this, this is a combination of Polish words, and it sounds very funny in Poland, but uh, it's difficult to translate, yeah. So I call the couple like these people who work in big corporations, yeah? And they are donkeys making some small things, usually things that they could do in a few hours or maybe one hour. Usually corporation takes a long time because you have to consult the thing, you have to have a confirmation, approval from, of your management and stuff. And this is, you know, funny, yeah? But it's also creepy, yeah? Because you are smart, skillful, but still donkey, yeah? You have to just talk to many people, consult everything. And you know that you have this power that you change the world and implement something very cool, yeah? So, I was there in this mountain and I just uh, tried to figure out how this donkey just get to this mountain, yeah? Because this mountain is something like this, yeah? It's not easy to get to the top. And we didn't see anybody on the road, yeah? And uh, suddenly, donkey on the top, yeah? So, if a donkey can do this, why we not, yeah? So, we just try to set up the business. And we opened this point by PL startup. And uh, the idea is uh, actually not to allow people to uh, send the parcels in the uh, special parcel shop, as Shusto said before in the beginning. <laughs> so you have to correct it. 
Uh, the idea is that you can go to the normal shops, yeah, that usually are doing some shoppings like grocery shops or, people, or places like gas stations. Yeah? So you don't have to wait for the courier uh, and be at home. Yeah? The courier will visit you. You can just, uh, just order parcels to the nearest shop uh, where you live or where you're working and you can pick up the parcels there. And actually this is a very nice business because uh, it's uh, developing in the, usually in the West. Yeah? But uh, it started developing a few years ago uh, in Australia, in the United Kingdom. And because there is a need, yeah, people want to use the service because you know, people, the big cities work uh, long hours. Couriers are, um, uh, are um, transporting parcels just till six and so on. So this is the need for, for, for the people, yeah, for the customers. And uh, also, e-commerce is developing right now. Yeah, in Poland, it's developing like 23 percent uh, year to year. And uh, in the United Kingdom, uh, there was a survey saying that right now five, five percent of the parcels are picked up by, by people not at the home address or private address, but in the shops like this, like, like shops, like grocery shops, like gas stations, on, uh, or in the Dropbox uh, stuff. It's like a, we call it Paschkomaty. It's a special device where you can pick up a parcel there. So we are doing this thing that actually uh, is starting, uh, it was starting yes, a few years ago, but uh, actually we were thinking about this idea a few years ago, yeah, because I was uh, you know, figuring out this, um, this business model for three years before we set up any company, before we start to talk with, uh, with partners. Yeah? So we are just changing the model and it was changing many times. Yeah? Today when I just think what stupid idea I had to do this business in the beginning, this, it was science fiction yeah, in the beginning. But it's changing and I got the information, I talked with the people, I just knew the industry. And uh, someday I decided yes, it's, it's, it can be done, yeah? it, it can be profitable. So I just start to do these things. We set up a comp company, uh, first one, the small one, that you don't have to invest a lot of money, and we start talking with uh, big companies. Yeah, so we just were one guy with the idea, yeah, with a small company behind, and we just go to the big companies with turnover of several hundreds millions uh, annually, and we just said to them that we have really nice idea, and they can earn money with us. Yeah, and it was funny. Yeah, but. For example, the, the one that, the company that we talked in the beginning, they said, "Okay, it was really nice idea, but not yet, yeah, because we are not ready." But uh, so we talked with other companies and so on and so on. And a few months later, once again, we just met with them, but in some other occasion. And actually, they said, "Okay, we are ready, yeah, we can do this, yeah." So it's not so easy that you just want to go once to the company and they say, "Yeah, let's do this, yeah." You have to be uh, Patient, yeah. Sometimes, especially we talk with the big companies, yeah, because the decision process is very long and so on and so on. So it was, and it, it is still not so easy, but we are trying and uh, we, we will do this, yeah. So uh, that was a nice movie too. <laughs> and uh, do you know what is the name of uh, president of Nigeria? Good luck. Jonathan, good luck, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is true. This is from Wikipedia. You can check it in Google, yeah. And so <laughs> this guy just, I think, becomes a lot, yeah, because if somebody can have a name like Jonathan Goodluck, yeah, so, and he is the president of Nigeria, so <laughs> we can try to <laughs> be a president of Point Park, yeah, why not? So we just set this company and start to do this stuff. Yeah. Uh, right now, just, uh, let's come back to the, this idea. Yeah? It's not like you just wake up in the morning someday and you say, yeah, Eureka, yeah? this is the thing, I will do this. Yeah? Uh, as I've said before, yeah, it's, it's not like that, that we just had this idea in the beginning and it was done. Yeah? We just think about this idea, check, check the you know, different, uh, different paths that we can do this business. And uh, actually, we are still doing this. Yeah? We are still changing the basic idea of the business. It's not so easy. And uh, for me, the, the most important thing that I think that I just find this idea is that I get this experience and knowledge uh, from different companies, different business. Yeah? The, the wider perspective you have for the business in general, for the economy, for the technical stuff, it's the better, yeah? You know about a lot about technical stuff. It's good for you because you, know, you, you, can, you can estimate what, is, uh, what can be done, yeah? Or uh, how much money or what you will need for it, yeah? From some people who are studying in the business schools, maybe they will have good ideas, but they will not uh, know how to do it, yeah? You are the guys that can say, yes, this can be done, and I know how to do it, yeah? If you also know how to do it from the perspective of the business, that's good for you, yeah, because you are ready to start up a business. Yeah? But uh, some people say that IT guys don't need uh, 
guys from the business, yeah? Because usually when people uh, set up a business, they just have a bunch of guys, probably friends, one of them is from the IT, one of them is from the business side, yeah? Usually, it's usually like this. Sometimes it's just one IT guy, so yeah, Steve Jobs or, or Big Guys and so on, yeah? And they <laughs> just figure out that, okay, you're smart enough and you can uh, tackle also the business side, yeah? And they do it and that's cool, yeah? <laughs> but if you don't have this business knowledge, you can share your ideas with somebody and do it, yeah? As we do with my friends. So we just share the idea. He is the IT guy, I am the business guy. So <laughs> we just fund each other and start to doing it. And uh, I think also that traveling and, you know, this passion for exploring and to, uh, for knowing more, uh, for just, you know, reading the books, the IT books, or but also reading some uh, soft skills, like presenting, like uh, negotiating, is also things that you should uh, start to learn. Yeah? It will help you not only in the, uh, your career, yeah? in, the, in the IT sector, but also in life. Yeah? It's, it's good to just make your border a bit further yeah? and cross the line yeah? and step for the field that you don't have any experience. Yeah? So this is the thing that for sure will help you and for sure if you have any idea for the business, someday it is careful to change the border, to move it a bit further, it's uh, something that will help you, yeah? And uh, the third thing is people, yeah? Uh, I think the people are the best teachers and it's uh, true, I will not say why, because it's obvious, yeah? And about the people, I mean, it's something like you, um, you are, for example, right now at IT gig, let's say, yeah? People who are, uh, have this passion for the IT stuff, technologies and so on. But uh, if you will have a business in the future, you will be the salesman, yeah? And this is the true, and you will not avoid it. This is not possible that you will just do the IT things, yeah, and somebody else will tackle the rest, yeah? If you will have this idea for the business, maybe you will find a business guy who will also be the salesman, yeah? But usually the, the people who have had this idea for the business, they have the, the best power to sell the business, yeah? Especially if you go to the companies, you have to sell your product, yeah, whatever it is. So this is the thing that you have to learn, yeah? And this is the thing I don't like. At all, yeah, to be a salesman, and I always said that I will be not working in the marketing department. Yeah, when I was in the Eurocash, uh, I said also that I can do everything, but not marketing. And of course, I was sent to the marketing department. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the thing. And uh, in the sales, it's all about the about the people. Yeah, in everything, in the business in general, it's the people. Yeah, and the same like you talk with the investors, you talk with the people. And actually, they don't buy your idea, yeah? They buy it also, but the thing they buy, they're buying you. Yeah, so you have to uh, be sure what are you doing, yeah? And uh, back to the Eureka, so the idea, yeah? how to find the business. So people say, and probably it's true, that uh, the, the most innovative economy is the United States, yeah? Maybe also Japan and some other developing countries, and then it's the rest of the world. And we can just ask yourself, why is that, yeah? Because in general, statistics should say that people are equal, yeah, more or less, in the world. <laughs> but the truth is that in the developing, uh, developed countries, uh, they are more innovative because this is easier for them. Yeah? First of all, the, the market in general is more developed. So they have this, they, they see that there is a need for something because the markets are more developed, yeah, and they are the fears who see these needs, these niches, yeah, for something new. And uh, then they implement those new things, new services to the rest of the world, and everybody thinks, yes, United States are the most innovative companies, and so on, because it's just like, just like this, yeah, because they have good universities, and so on and so on. That's not true, in my opinion, yeah, because I believe in people, yeah, everybody are equal, this is the evolution, nature, yeah, so we have the same brain, so it's just a 5% maybe of the success, yeah, it's helping them. And the other thing is that um, in United States, uh, <laughs> People and companies are more prone to implement new things. Yeah, in Poland, for example, you're just going to some companies and you are saying that you have innovative, innovative idea for something. They say, "Wow, cool, very nice." And okay, so we wait. We will do this. We will do this, and then we will join you. Yeah. So show us that you will do this. Yeah. So this is the thing. Yeah? And like I said, this works like okay, you have this idea, let's do this. Yeah. Because they know that this is something that drives the business. Yeah. You have to go further. Yeah. You have to implement the things. You have to develop yourself. Yeah. The company and the business model. And uh, we also talk with the important with the uh, lot of business. Yeah. They have many places. They have a lot of people who are safe, you know, working there, and they have a lot of time to also provide other additional services. Yeah. And this is a company that usually also probably in Ukraine. 
then learn a lot of money. Yeah? So that we set them that we estimate that they can earn, let's say, 40 million uh, annually uh, from our services. Yeah? And they said, cool, but this is not too much for us. Yeah? It's, it's less, yeah? because <laughs> they have a lot of money. Yeah? So then I was thinking that maybe this estimation was too much, yeah? too big or something. Yeah? And they said it was too less, too less for them. Yeah? So this is the thing, yeah? especially in our countries, developing countries, it's difficult yeah, to learn new things. So you have to be prepared for that. Yeah? Sometimes, especially if you just if you have this idea that is uh, more like IT, yeah, so you can just go global <coughs> at once, yeah. So it doesn't matter where you are starting, yeah. You can just implement your service in the states because the customers are ready for it in, in states. Maybe in Ukraine or Poland, not yet. But you can just create the service and implement it and sell it in the US market, yeah. So uh, actually, this is the thing that right now is going to happen. Yeah. Do you know this guy, Adam Smith and Karl Marx, yeah? So this is the guy that, you know, working the economy uh, um, ideas and theories and uh, of course Karl Marx was the guy more in the east side of the world yeah, and then Smith is the guy from the west, yeah, as the, as the even, you know, okay, Smith is a normal typical guy, so you could also be a Smith in, the, in Russia, for example, yeah, but the idea is that those guys have uh, uh, competitive theories, yeah, Smith said that if you have a worker yeah, who will provide and doing some things, and these things will, uh, uh, will, will need for some several, um, let's say, functions to, how to say, tasks to do. Yeah? So you have something that you have to assemble one thing, and you have to, one task is to put something, one task is to, to get something together. Yeah? And Adam Smith said that uh, we should uh, divide those tasks. Yeah? Everybody, each person will have one task because this will be more productive yeah? and the efficiency will be better. Yeah? And for the, let's say, last 200 years, it was true. Yeah? Because in the factories, it's really true. Uh, this is a more efficient way. And Karl Marx said that the, the worker should do everything yeah? from the beginning to the end because uh, for, for him it will have bigger meaning, yeah? he will be more satisfied from his work because he will see the result of his work, yeah? and uh, so this is true. But right now we have this crisis, yeah? everybody are talking about this financial crisis and so on, that uh, we have this slowdown of the economies, and they are trying to find out what is the wrong in, in the global economy at all. And uh, some people said that we just stick to the kind of the Smith and it was uh, not good, yeah? We should come back to Karl Marx, yeah? <laughs> but we know that it's not a good idea, especially in our region. But uh, the truth is that we think a bit longer about it. We just can, um, can just uh, connect other Smith uh, theories with uh, capitalism, yeah? And it's good. Everybody loves capital, capitalism and money. Karl Marx, we can just connect Karl Marx with the knowledge economy, yeah? Because let's see to the IT sector how it looks, yeah? You are people who, who you can we, we can force you to do something. Yeah? you have to feel this passion. You have to be satisfied, motivated to do the things. Yeah, because you use your brains, and it's not easy to divide some things. Of course, you have tasks to do, some stories to do, and so on. But uh, you have to have this feeling that your job have some some results in the end. Yeah, and uh, so this is more important in the knowledge economy. And uh, right now, in the knowledge economy, the things that is uh, in the in the in the trend, yeah. So, uh, IT guys can work everywhere. It doesn't matter whether this is the uh, mm, this is the let's say you don't need sound from the Silicon Valley yeah, to work and uh, and to have nice idea. Yeah, you can just use the sound you have in the Ivano Frankis yeah, to have nice ideas. Yeah, you can go to the park and drink some let's say beer <laughs> and have nice idea. Yeah. So this is the thing, yeah? knowledge economy don't have borders, yeah? And, uh, okay, so you have idea right now, yeah? And what the money, yeah? The money is not so easy. But if you don't have idea yet, yeah? The, sometimes it's very easy to, to just take one uh, idea, not, no, totally new, yeah? You have this story that if you have really nice idea for the business, it's like right now in the world, there are some five people, five teams working on this idea. This is really true, yeah? And if you just have good idea, right now probably there is some 20 team working on it somewhere in the world. Yeah, so this is uh, this is the thing. So you don't have to have this new idea. You can 
also sometimes take all ideas. Yeah? You can just see what is going on in the developing countries, yeah? because they didn't uh, have enough time to just implement the services in here, and you can do this. Yeah? But okay, this is not so am am ambitious for you. Yeah? You are more ambitious people, yeah? and you want to try to find something totally new. Yeah? It's good, be ambitious. Yeah? And actually, I would like to say a few words about uh, Allegro and Amazon. Allegro, do you know how to perform? Uh, Outro or something, you know, this is the outshot business in, in here, this is the group of Allegro. Yeah? Allegro is a business that was set up probably in the 90s, the late 90s, or maybe in the 2000s, something in the beginning. And uh, right now this is a big group. They have a lot of businesses uh, from the from the e-commerce and, uh, and generally from the IT. And um, they are so strong in Poland that, that, that uh, Amazon is not entering Polish market because of them, yeah, because they were freezing here. Amazon is in Germany, and probably in many other countries, but uh, many people are still buying some things from Amazon, yeah, ordering the stuff from German Amazon or from United Kingdom Amazon, but they try to uh, enter in a um, Polish market and they say this is too hard. Yeah? Well, the same like eBay, yeah? you know eBay, actually a big company. Uh, they also didn't enter the Polish market. Actually, they did, and they just tried to get customers for three years, and they decided it's not uh, profitable, yeah, because Allegro is too big right now, yeah. So this is a really nice uh, idea, and Allegro just started from the options. Right now, they have so many businesses in the portfolio that uh, almost, if you want to do any business in the e-commerce, you have to have partners from the group Allegro group, yeah. So this is the thing, yeah, and they started with just idea, one idea for the options. And right now, it's developed so much that they have so much money and so much businesses that's really nice. The same like evolution of the Facebook, yeah? You know this, uh, this story, probably you probably also saw this movie, really nice movie in the music. And uh, they also, this is in the, this movie, I just, uh, the story about this Facebook is really nice because the idea was very simple, yeah? The guy just wanted to compare the girls, yeah, in the beginning, yeah? <laughs> so he probably didn't know that he will have this billion worth business in, in today, yeah? And this is something about the girls, comparing the girls. So it's like this, yeah, you have some new idea, you have to just start working it, on it, developing it, and someday you will never know where you will end up, yeah? So let's say you will end up in a good place. Uh, regarding the motivation, yeah, the motivation of course is necessary because as I said before, you'll be you have to play different roles, yeah? And roles in that you probably don't like, yeah, because life is not so easy and if it would be so easy, then it wouldn't be worth it. Yeah? So, uh, regarding the status, you know about it. And uh, this was a really nice sentence I heard some time ago uh, from Steve Jobs. Yeah? He compared rational and love, yeah? because uh, he said something like, uh, you have to love your business and your idea, yeah? because if you are a rational thinking guy yeah? or, or girl, someday you'll just say, it's not worth yeah? doing a business and having a company because it's too hard. Yeah, because I'm a lazy guy in general, yeah, and people in general are lazy, yeah, that we just want to lay in some meadow uh, with lions and girls around us and drink some beers and eat some fruits, fr 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 yeah, so this is the thing. And you have to have this motivation to do the business, yeah, because sometimes it's very easy to stay in the corporation, yeah, and this money, and okay, yeah, I have very comfortable life, why should I change something, yeah, so this is the thing, yeah. It's not about the money, it's about the thing that you want to do, yeah? because it's a travel, yeah? it's like a trip that I started with this presentation. Yeah? You have to just start the travel and you, go, you have to start a business and you are going with it. Yeah? So this is interesting. And sometimes you don't know whether you, in the end, will have this treasure or you just miss the road and end up somewhere else. Yeah? And you have to come back, yeah? provide it to the corporation yeah? to save some money and start once again. Yeah? So you never know. And uh, regarding the business plan, yeah? this is the first step and first task you have to do, and usually it's something that IT guys don't like, yeah? Why I have a very nice idea and I have to write some business plan, yeah? For what? I don't like it, yeah? Okay, I'll write something because they want it, yeah? So I write some business plan, and sometimes it's very, very, let's say, with not good quality, yeah? For the IT guys, yeah? Especially if you have to prepare this uh, financial projections, yeah? How to prepare the cash flow, the balance sheet, and this financial something, yeah? That you need, yeah? You don't have knowledge about it, yeah? So probably, and usually it's like that, that if the IT guys prepare some business plan and go to the investors, they just show what is the cost, what are the profits, yeah? and uh, what would be the, the sales in some years, and that's all, yeah? So this is the whole about the financial stuff, yeah? So it didn't impress the investor usually, so they just ask for more, yeah, and then you see, okay, I don't know this knowledge, 
and you have to think, I need like, somebody, yeah, or I need uh, them. So I just, uh, when you start negotiate, negotiating with them, if you are not well prepared, especially with this financial statement, you're just uh, cutting your leg, yeah, so you just fight with them with staying on one leg, yeah, so it's always you have to be prepared, you yeah? know. And I will not say what you need to have in the business plan because uh, you can Google it as I said before. Uh, but this is the thing you, you have to have uh, somebody in your back in your mind when you go for the negotiation. You know? And I will just say a few words about executive summary. Uh, this is just uh, usually first two pages of the business plan. Yeah? And it's very important because usually investors just read just two pages of it. Yeah? Even um, sometimes they don't read it because they will not get this email from you, yeah? But this is uh, something that was said in there. Uh, the first, let's say, paragraph in this executive summary should be the graph, yeah? So it should be the few sentences, what is the big idea, yeah, of your business? Yeah, just few sentences, not paragraph with 10 uh, sentences, just two or three sentences, yeah? And you should uh, say that you are a really nice guy, yeah? You do have no price. Don't think that uh, they will know about it, yeah? So you have to write it in the business plan, yeah? In this graph, in this first paragraph. And these sentences have to have, they have to be compelling, yeah? Not some boring stuff and wrong sentences that is really hard to read. They have to be quick, easy, and uh, understandable for people who are not the IT guys, yeah? Or they don't have uh, knowledge about the sector that you are trying to develop somehow. Uh, you have to write about your partners, yeah? Or your strong things that you have that uh, somebody will read about it and say, well, this is good things, yeah? If you are, your partners are Microsoft, yeah, because they invested, they are in the beast park or something of the Microsoft, then it's what to mention, yeah? Uh, the second paragraph is the problem, yeah? So, what you want to solve, yeah? And uh, what is the need from the customer and uh, why, you, why they need for, there is a need for, for something like this and how you do this, yeah? And uh, this can be different things, yeah? It can be some things that will change the process of the production, and this can be something that will improve the, uh, the sales or the speed of the production, or reduce the cost, yeah? This is the different things, but always your business, your product will, will, will just um, uh, give something to the customers, yeah? Or, or for your uh, business partners. Uh, the third thing is uh, the solution, yeah? So, to whom is the solution? Who will need it? And whether this will be service or product, sometimes it's different. And uh, how this um, this service or product is fitting in the in the, in the value chain yeah, of the of the business. Yeah. And um, also you have to mention about the ecosystem of the industry. I mean in, by that that uh, this is you always fit somewhere. Yeah. It's not like you create something totally new. Yeah. It's not a new sector probably and so on. So you have to write uh, what you give to the how you change the, the industry in general. Yeah. Because if, you, it is, if this is the innovative business, you have to in here write what is the innovation in here, yeah? And still, you have to be few sentences, not a lot of uh, things, yeah? Because you have just two, paper, uh, two pages of maximum, yeah? To write everything. And then this is the opportunity. So, the this is the first thing that, in the, so from the one to three, the investor will know, okay, this is a good idea, this is really nice, this is interesting, and this can be done, and this can have maybe good perspective, yeah? So I'm interested, I'm still reading, so let's go to the second page, yeah? And the second page is the point. So I want to know what is the market segmentation, yeah? What is the size, what is the growth, what is the, dynamic, the dynamics of this market, yeah? Whether this is a really market that is dying, yeah? Like, uh, let's say, post, uh, normal post letters, yeah? This is something that will change because people are sending emails. So I don't want to invest in this, yeah? But if you just focus on the, something that is growing, yeah, this is something new, like biotechnology, something or some IT things, yeah. So you have to just mention it. It's really good if you find some niche and you describe it, yeah. This is uh, things that uh, investors like, and the perspective, yeah. The perspective, I mean, the future, yeah. You can just write that somebody, some researchers or some professor or some uh, markets from the West that are more developed, uh, developed than. Uh, the, the market segmentation and growth there is worth uh, several millions, yeah? And in, in your country, it can be worth also several millions, but in five years, yeah? So this is the thing that you have to have. You have to have this benchmark, you have to confirm that this is not just your imagination, yeah? That you think it's really cool, yeah? But you have to just uh, confirm that this is, um, this has hands and legs, yeah? And it can, and can be working, yeah? Uh, this is the hard thing, yeah? Because Usually you just think about some ideas and you find out it and you say, yes, this is something new, yeah, and nobody is doing that, yeah. 
But the truth is that it's always uh, the competition somewhere in the world. Yeah, it's. Uh, I know it's hard to imagine. It was really difficult for me. But there's sometimes it's just similar service. Yeah, it's very common or very uh, almost lo looks like yours products or service, but it's a bit different. Yeah, because uh, you have to just focus on what you are providing to the customers and uh, how these needs right now are covered by the, uh, by some other business or products of these customers. Yeah, and. Uh, Direct competitors, yeah? If you have direct competitors, then it's easy because you can compare something. But in this case, you have to say what is the difference between you and the players of the market that right, doing the business right now, yeah? So you have to focus on advantages, you yeah? You have to say what uh, is different in your way of doing this business, yeah? And the, the sixth one is the model, yeah? Uh, so it's sometimes uh, people forget about it, yeah? It's maybe... So, uh, so easy question, yeah? How you earn the money? But uh, if you are, you know, people from IT usually, this is a nice idea, yeah? This is a nice service, but you don't think about money sometimes, yeah? Okay, this is, maybe I'm wrong, yeah? But, <laughs> but uh, sometimes, yeah, I want to do this nice idea, and I don't think about money, yeah? And maybe it's true, maybe in the United States or other countries, people just invest in nice ideas, maybe even some non-profit uh, businesses and services, yeah? Because this is something that is uh, nice, you yeah? have to do. Uh, but uh, imagine Facebook, yeah? They don't earn money for a very long time. I don't even know that whether they are profitable still or, or not, but maybe, maybe still not, yeah? So many people just give them money to do something, yeah? To grow. And after they will be big, then they will maybe earn some money, yeah? But uh, you have to write about it, yeah? You have to say that you are doing this for profit, yeah? Because if not, then just say, okay, we have idea, but I don't want to invest my money and I want to have this uh, money back, yeah, somehow. You have to write what is your margin, yeah? whether you will sell licenses or you will have some units who will sell your product, how will, how you, how will you do this? Yeah? So the model is very important and sometimes it's very tricky to describe it yeah? because it's not so easy. You have to spend a lot of time to think how to write it in the few sentences. Yeah? It's not like you have, you have for this the whole business plan, yeah? but uh, in this exit summary, you have to put everything what is in the business plan in the few sentences. And then is the team, yeah? It's so we are just still come back to the people, yeah? And so you have to write about your communication, your education, your experience, and so on. It's very really important. But, okay, this is you just describing yourself, yeah? But the truth is that this is the most important thing, yeah? Because this, read all the, the points that you describe in the executive summary, and then the question of the, in the mind of this investor is, who the hell is this guy, yeah? And so, okay, let's meet or not, yeah? You have to write a few things about you because uh, you have to be an interesting guy yet for this guy to meet. Yeah? Because he probably has a lot of you know questions and requests for meetings, yeah? and probably he has ten nice ideas a week to read about. Yeah, and your idea have to be really cool. Yeah, and you have to be really cool to just go there and talk with this guy. Yeah? And sometimes it's very very important, and sometimes people just forget about basic things. Yeah, is there any volunteer? would like to do some short uh, uh, examination. Who is afraid of something to come here or not? Is there anybody who is afraid? Yeah, this is a question that is uh, suggest the answer, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you are? Let's go. go. Let's say you are just uh, going to the room with the investors, yeah, and first thing, <laughs> yeah, something is happening, yeah, yeah something that you didn't predict is happening, yeah. So we just take it and you are just, oh, hello, okay, you passed that, somebody else, <laughs> somebody else, this is the end. Yeah, I will just uh, explain everything in the in the future. Let's go. Come. Come. Yeah, you can see. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so once again, same situation, yeah? You have this nice idea to do and so on, yeah? So, what you are doing? I'm just sitting in here, I'm just waiting, and... Hello, Hello. I have a nice idea for you. Okay, good. You also passed the test, so... <laughs> the idea is that sometimes people don't look in the eyes, yeah? And the, 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 the stroke of the shaking the hand is very important, yeah? Because it shows you whether you are weak or whether you have this passion for the business and you believe in it, yeah? If you just give me your hand and just... Oh, I'm so nervous right now, yeah. <laughs> and I don't look into your eyes, yeah. Because if you look into your eyes, you just saying that yes, I'm, uh, I'm uh, sure what I'm doing, yeah. And I know what I'm saying, yeah. And this is basic things. And sometimes people just 
don't even shake the hands, yeah? And don't even look in the eyes of the people they are talking, yeah? So some basic things, yeah? So just do not read just IT stuff, yeah? IT books, just read something else about some soft skills, yeah? And this is the thing, yeah? So first of all, you're showing, you're selling yourself, and then you're selling your, your team, yeah? You have to prove that I am, and Grigori and some other people who are sitting there, you have somebody who, who are able to do the things, yeah? And so this is not the IT stuff. You have to think about any other things, yeah? <laughs> even about selling, yeah. Because you are the sales guys, yeah. If you want to, <laughs> to start the business, yeah. The first thing you have to sell is your business plan, yeah. So this is very difficult. And the important thing, yeah. So you are nice guys, a very good idea. And what you will promise to me, yeah. And the answer is, of course, I will promise you this one thing, yeah. It's a dollar <laughs> or euro <laughs> or, or other equipment or something, yeah. And you just go to this guy and saying that I will make a whole lot of money for you, yeah? And we will share this money, yeah? And okay, so I will give you some money, and what is this? Yeah, Roy and stuff, yeah? The tool of investment. Yeah, so you are from IT or from business? <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is good that some of you know about it, yeah? And uh, so somebody just invest money, and usually in the startup business that is that this ROI has to be something like 30%, yeah? So they will get you, let's say, 100 uh, kryptos, and they will want to have 130 in one year, yeah? Or something like this, yeah? And this is a really nice business, yeah? Because if you go to the bank, you will get something like 5%, yeah? Or 3 or 4, so it depends, yeah? And you have to prove that this ROI is really thing that can be achieved, yeah? So you have to prepare this really nice five years probably or three years at least cash flow, yeah? So it means how much money you will need when in part it is divided on the months and so on, yeah? You have to be precious, I mean, uh, you have to be specific, yeah? You have to write each cost you will spend and when you will spend it, yeah? It's some details, like you just spend, let's say, 500 kryptos, yeah? Oh, I don't know what I took. it's hard for me to compare, yeah? But it's just a small, small amount of money and you have to put it in the, in the, in the five years plan, yeah? <laughs> no, I mean, yeah? Maybe it will change and probably it will, and it will change and the investor know that it will change, yeah? But he has to be sure that you are sure, yeah? And you just uh, um, estimate and, and, and uh, forecast some cost. Yeah, not only the incomes, yeah, because this is easy. You can okay, people will buy my service and will be this, this, and this. Yeah, you have to also prepare the, the cost. Yeah, and also the balance sheet. Yeah, and the profit and loss. And okay, maybe this is uh, in here. It looks very easy. Yeah, but it's not so easy to prepare all these things. Yeah, you have to just have this uh, financial knowledge. Yeah, and probably they will not teach you in the IT university how to do it. Yeah. It's not easy that you just Google the things and you prepare it, yeah? <laughs> so, this is the thing, yeah? This is the first uh, bridge or, or gap you have to just jump over, yeah? So, this is the thing that you have to sometimes find somebody who, who will help you or just, uh, or just uh, pay somebody for this, yeah? It's not so, so difficult, yeah? And the, the last thing, yeah, is the, the question, yeah? It's the ask. You have to ask for something, yeah? I need this amount of money or this amount of money, yeah? And you have to have this expectation, yeah? how much you will need, yeah? how much you will need, when you will need, and you have to have these milestones. Yeah? So for the first step, let's say I have to prepare the technology, I will need, let's say, um, one million of euro, yeah? and I need it. Yeah? And this is the business plan, this is the financial statements and so on, and this is the cost, and this shows I will need this and this. Yeah? And he say, okay, so this is for the first step. And then, what are the other steps? Yeah? And you have to prepare all steps, not like, 11 or something, you have just, let's say, five steps, yeah? Technology, product, implementation, and getting money uh, from the investments, yeah? So, this is easy stuff, but all these things you have to prepare in the activity summary, yeah? And you have to attach it to the business plan, and you have to send it to the investors, yeah? And this is the real job, is starting right now, yeah? So it's not that you just lay on the middle uh, with the girls around you and drink beer, yeah? Right now you have to just sit with the computer and try to write something and send some emails, go for the meetings and so on. And the first step, actually, the zero step, and the last one is the email, yeah? Because it doesn't matter that you just write nice, if you summary the business plan. If you write bad email with the business plan, everything will just go to the trash, yeah? So you will once again spend a lot of time to just think how to write it very short and that it's very interesting to send and somebody to read it, yeah? Because you have to force these investors to read your email and then the executive summary, yeah? 
and this is not easy. Yeah? So um, actually, it's uh, in the in the private equity funds. It works like that that they uh, uh, employ some smart guys uh, with some experience, and they, those guys are reading these emails. Yeah. And if those guys decide, yes, this is a good idea, they will send this executive summary to the investors, the partners of the profit equity fund, and they will read it, yeah? And uh, this is the, so this is starting right now, uh, trying to get this finance stuff, yeah? Funding from the, for the business. And uh, usually you have two options, yeah? So you have the profit equity fund, and business angels, and probably sometimes you have also some other things like your friends with the money, yeah? or you can go to the bank for a loan, or you can just, uh, if you have some money, you can just set up a company, you invest some part of the money, like some, let's say, 200 slotters, and you go for the, uh, for the stock exchange, yeah? In Poland, we have something, what is called Neconnect, and this is the stock exchange for the options, uh, for the, uh, I mean, the shares of the business. Uh, that you can sell in the in the stock exchange, yeah, and people just invest. Normal people like you just can invest in some startup businesses, yeah. And it's uh, it was very cool a few years ago to, to just go there for the money, but right now people don't uh, trust it because of the financial crisis and so this option is it's not working now. So uh, we have this private equity business angels, and in Poland we have also uh, funds from the European Union. Yeah, if you have no idea, the European Union can give you some money, you can spend it, and you can. Uh, spend it on different things, they of course will check you and so on, but in the end, uh, it's, uh, we don't use it, yeah, because it's very difficult because you, because you have to report the things and uh, they don't give you the flexibility yeah, of spending the money. Yeah? You have to just write, I will spend this for this, but in the middle, some things can change, yeah? so you don't have this flexibility and actually, for me, uh, these funds are spending for the innovative businesses, yeah? but the way they spend this money it's totally not for innovative businesses, yeah, because this is impossible to spend the money like this in the innovative business. So we have to, we just, uh, we just been forced to go to the private equity fund and uh, to get money from them. And what's the difference between those two? Yeah, I'm not sure whatever you know, but in the short, it's like that private equity fund is usually that the guys with the money just they gather, they are friends, they decide that, okay, let's invest in the nice businesses, yeah? And usually they have uh, several dozen or hundreds of millions slotting and they invest in the big companies, the small companies, but they don't invest in the companies that have just the business plan in their hands, yeah? So they invest in the startup, yeah? And the startup is something that is, they have already something, yeah? Like technology or some service or product that is already done, yeah? This is the startup. Uh, but in our case, we just have nice idea, yeah? So this is the seed seed phase of the company. And seed companies, uh, seed funding is very difficult, especially in Poland, probably in Ukraine, it's even more difficult, yeah? Because uh, those people with this amount of money, yeah, several hundred dollars, they don't care about money that they invest, let's say, half of the million, and they will get from it uh, half, one million and a half, yeah? This, for them, is a the small scale, yeah? Uh, but sometimes you can, uh, and usually those businesses, probably pretty funds, they invest in the businesses that are worth something like 10 million slots, yeah? So two and a half million of euro, yeah? So you have a company that's working with nice service and good perspectives, and they can buy it and give you mo more money to invest, you can go grow bigger, and they will uh, then just get this investment back, yeah? So usually you are going to the business engines, yeah? Usually they are guys with more passion for the business because they are wanting to do the business because they like it, yeah, they have also a lot of money, sometimes even more than those guys, sometimes less, yeah? But for them, it's not about how much you will get from this money, it's still about it, they don't want to use, uh, lose the money, yeah? But they care more about the idea, yeah? And the people, yeah? So for them, it's more, more important thing. And uh, actually, we, 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 we are financed by somebody who is between this, yeah? <laughs> so this is a bit different. And, okay, so, you have this business plan, you are sending this, uh, your business uh, executive summary and your business plan with this email to a lot of uh, private equity funds and business agents, yeah? You can find it on the websites, yeah? I don't know how it looks in UK, whether you have a lot of options or not. But in Poland, it's something like 20, 30 private equity funds. Uh, just five or several of them are dealing with uh, seed funding, yeah? And usually, they are just divided that they are focusing on the uh, biotechnology business, or IT, or some banking, or some metal sector. Yeah, so this is uh, still making uh, our business uh, ready for, let's say, two or three private equity funds, yeah? Then you can search for the business angels. 
and in Poland we have some, uh, it's called like a, uh, they are gathering each other in, in the form of uh, uh, organizations. Uh, and you can just uh, write your, your proposal to them and they will send those proposals if they will uh, agree that this is really cool to the all business engines. Yeah? And some of them are reading it, some of them not. Uh, some, somebody reads it uh, just like this. Uh, so sometimes you have to write uh, several months for the answer. Yeah? So you never know. Yeah? Maybe you just right now send something and you just forget about this business and some, someday somebody just called you. Hey, I read your business plan. Uh, oh, I sent it one year ago. <laughs> Right now I'm in Alaska, yeah, and on the, some boats, uh, fishing boats or something. <laughs> so I don't care about this piece of idea, no. <laughs> but uh, let's say that um, they, are, uh, they find out that your idea is really cool, and you are going for the meeting, yeah? So you have to present your idea, yeah? I will not uh, go into this how to present your business because there is a lot of information uh, in the Google, but uh, in general you have to still be specific, yeah, and, and short, yeah? It's not have to be long sentences, it's got to, you have to, do something like it in the executive summary, yeah? A uh, few slides, usually 10, 15, and that's all, yeah? Uh, for them, it's not important the details sometimes. Uh, I mean, the technical details, yeah? Uh, they know that they have to have this feeling that you know what, is, uh, what you want to do, you have this knowledge, yeah? And you are sending yourself, yeah? So you have to present the same steps that you, I present to you in the, in the, in the, in the executive summary. And then let's say they agree for the business, yeah? You have this idea. Okay, so this is the typical part here. Yeah? I want 100% of your share, yeah? <laughs> because this is really a nice idea. Yeah? And okay, so thank you very much and goodbye. Yeah? <laughs> Sometimes it starts like this. Yeah? The guy just checking you. Yeah? Whether you are, um, how you direct from the stressful situations or something like this. And um, sometimes uh, it's another barrier for you yeah? because uh, you're just afraid that uh, you have just. Uh, Nice idea, and the guy will steal you from it, yeah? Because the guy had money, and I don't want to share my idea, yeah? So you will just die and uh, with this thought that, yes, I had a nice idea, yeah? <laughs> yeah, so this is not like this, yeah? You have, to, you have to trust the people, yeah? Sometimes you have to be careful, yeah? Uh, in our example, it was like that we, I just uh, talked with my friends, uh, who has some friends, so it's like networking, yeah? And they just contact with us, with these investors, and we just find each other, yeah? And, but I talk with the friends, so I trust them, yeah? And one friend helped me, and other friends talk to other friends, and these friends decide, oh, we do this, yeah? So we have the computers right now, yeah? So this is something like this. But we think that we are sure that we'll uh, you know, fight with them because we have this passion with this business, yeah? And they just, just try to uh, copy us, yeah? So this is not something that you should worry about, yeah? For the private equity funds and business angels, uh, I can say that in Poland is like this, that uh, they don't care about, you know, doing the business, yeah? because they have some other business to talk about and, and for them it's like, okay, nice, nice idea, I will give you money to do that, do that, yeah? Because they have a lot of money, yeah? And the problem for, for them is how to invest this money because if they will not invest this money, they will lose this money, yeah? So they just uh, they don't care about how you do this or don't have time to do this by themselves, yeah? So they will give you money, yeah? So you have to trust those people and share these ideas, yeah? And in my opinion, the, the, the more people you share with, it's the better, yeah? Because you get the feedback from your friends, you can improve it, yeah? So it's like this, yeah? You have to share this idea. Okay, so let's say they decided that I, I agree for the investments and you're talking about the money, yeah? It's not so easy, yeah? Because usually you have several meetings, yeah? And you're talking about some different stuff. I know that we should just end up in the right <laughs> now. But in general, it's like you have to be part of the negotiation, yeah? Uh, you have to read some books. Sometimes just, um, you can just uh, get some summary of how to negotiate stuff, you have to be prepared for it, yeah? And uh, you have to, the first question you have to ask yourself, how much you want to do this business, yeah? So in the other way, uh, how, how much of shares of this business you are ready to give to somebody else, yeah? Uh, and for the investor, usually it's that they want to have 51% because uh, by law it gives them the, the power of this business, yeah? So they can decide in the end what they will do. Yeah. For them, it's uh, 51%. It means also that if they will try to sell this business to, let's say, business angel will sell this business to the private equity fund, so the business angel will invest, let's say, other million, and then he will sell this business to the private equity fund for 10 million. Yeah, because this is the way usually they works. Yeah. So uh, for them, it's important that they will sell this business with the with the power to to for the management. Yeah, for the decision. Yeah, because. 
everybody wants to have a business, invest in business, where they will have enough shares to decide what will happen with it. Yeah. So the question of this is uh, for you to ask whether I am able to give them 51% or not. Yeah. And uh, if you have money, if you have technology, if you have product or service working, it's uh, for you. Uh, it's bigger chances for you that, will, that they will be able to sell and get this financing with less than 51%. Yeah. Uh, if you don't, it's really have a nice idea, or the investor has to have uh, really uh, a lot of money uh, to give you that. Yeah, without this 51%. Yeah. Usually, it's end up with 51%. And of course, it's um, also important how much you will need. Yeah. If you will need several millions and you have just a business plan, okay, man, I can give you the several million because I believe in this idea, but I need 80% of shares, yeah, because the risk is bigger. Yeah? So the lower the risk, the more shares you can save for yourself. Yeah? But still, you have to have enough shares to be motivated in this, yeah? or you have to be passionate about it. Yeah? So this is the end of my presentation. If you have any question, you have just one minute. <laughs> any questions? Yeah. What was your specialization at the university? Oh, this is this is something I, I said that you know. Yeah, I like every, everything. Yeah. So I, my specialization was uh, uh, I was studying mechanical mechanical engineering mm -hmm. about you know preparing some gears for the cars and stuff like this, designing it and calculating the all that stuff. And then I or my specialization was about uh, logistic and transportation. And this, there was a lot of uh, operational researches, so mathematics and stuff. And at economics, I will study business strategy, yeah, something mm -hmm. like this. So, also about the investing stuff. So, I have this banner, yeah, regarding the, the, the idea because we are doing business actually in the logistics in general, yeah. So, I knew the stuff. Also, I was in my experience from work, uh, give me the knowledge about the industry that uh, we are working right now, we are talking about, yeah. So, we are talking with the grocery stores, the chains, and we are talking with the courier companies. Yeah, and the postal companies, and you are talking with e-commerce. Yeah, e-commerce, I know because everybody knows e-commerce right now. So this is the thing. Yeah? But it doesn't matter. If you have passion for the business, you can do everything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how long have you searched for an investor? Uh, I sent uh, something like seven, ten emails, and I. It was like this that I just set up a business. Yeah, the small company for a year. And I'll talk with the other companies, the, the cluster stock chains and so on. And with this uh, basic market research, I just uh, started to send uh, uh, this uh, proposal, business uh, invest investment proposal to the, to the private equity funds. And it took me something like, let's say, three months to get some answer and get uh, for several meetings with, uh, with two of, of these private equity funds. And uh, both of them are, uh, wanted to invest in us. Uh, but uh, one of them uh, were more, uh, how to say it, uh, careful. Yeah, they wanted to you know, divide everything, and uh, you know, let's start with some basic stuff. Uh, and the other one said, "I believe in it. Do it as you want to do it. Yeah, I give you the money. Yeah, so we go there. Yeah, but of course we have to give more shares that and keep. So we decided, okay, let's give the more shares, but let's let's roll. Yeah, so something like this and. Um, the talk and this, the, this uh, negotiation stuff in the meetings took us like three next, next three months. Yeah, so in general it's like six months. Six months yeah. So yeah, we are working uh, in the corporations. Yeah, we are thinking about this business. We are developing the business, and uh, in the same time we are trying to to start this business. Yeah, it's not like just that you quit your job. Yeah, and I'm just focus on it. Yeah, don't do it. Yeah, mm -hmm. or maybe if you are so <laughs> bad in yourself, don't do it. <laughs> yeah. Any questions? Any questions? <laughs> And yeah. And what can I do when I've lost all my money and my startup didn't become profitable? Yeah. Should I go and search another business angel on Angelist or just? Yeah, sometimes it's like that. Yeah, that's uh, that's why the first investor uh, don't want to give you more money because he just don't believe it and he need it anymore. And sometimes it's like working like okay, I will find other investors and this investor will buy the shares from this first investor. Yeah. Sometimes it works like this. Uh, you have many options to, to quit the investment. Yeah, you can go to this, let's say, <coughs> career companies, and you can give them the soft. Many options. Yeah, and so this is not like this. But if you just go bankrupt, you go bankrupt. Yeah, so the investor will lose money, and that's all. Yeah, because this is the way it works. Yes? he gave you money, but but he takes he's taking the risk yeah? because you have idea. Yeah, this is your input. The input is money, and taking the risk out, out of it. Yeah, so this is like this. Yeah. It's, yeah, usually they want to, you to invest your money too, yeah? even so small part of it, yeah? to show that yeah, you believe in it. Yeah?
but it's just a matter of your negotiation whether you prove them that you are uh, motivated to do this business. Yeah. Sometimes for you it's a decision like let's say you earn right now 10,000 uh, euro, yeah, and if you set up a business, you will earn in this business let's say 1,000 euro, yeah. So you just improve proof this that you are motivated to do this business and you are ready to give your money back. I mean the lower your the comfort of life or something, yeah. So it's something, something for something, yeah. It's not always like this. Any questions? Okay. Thank you very much.